welcome to lesson 24. We're going to actually do some real world equations and inequalities in this lesson. So here's our criteria for success. We're going to define our variables by creating some type of let statement, let like x be something, like our variables have to be equal to something in the context of the problem. Uh, we're going to accurately represent the solution with an equation or an inequality and making sure that we have the proper coefficients, constants, and symbols, so everything that has to be in our problem. And then if the, power, if the problem asks us to do it, we'll accurately solve it or we'll interpret the solution. What does it mean in terms of the problem? So let's get started. Here's our first one. Michaela has $100 to spend at the mall. So far she spent $40 and now she wants to buy pop sockets for $5 each. Let's write an inequality to represent the greatest number of pop sockets she can buy. Okay, so what do we know? What is the limiting factor here? We know that she has $100 and we know that that has to be the most she can spend or she can exactly spend that. So the 100 has to be greater than or equal to what she spends. And we know that she already spent $40 and she can buy the pop sockets for $5 each. So since we don't know how many she can buy, we're gonna let X equal the number of pop so sockets purchased. That's our let statement, okay? So, since they're $5 each, I'm gonna represent that as 5X because each one costs $5 and we just don't know how many she buys. So that's our inequality. So all we have to do, this problem is not asking us to solve yet. Let's go to the next part. Here we go, solve the inequality and interpret the solution. All right, so let's actually solve it. 100 is greater than or equal to 40 plus 5x. We'll subtract 40 from both sides so that all the constants are on one side. So 60 is greater than or equal to 5x. Isolate that variable. 12 is greater than or equal to x. So what does this mean? If since we said that X be the number of pop sockets she purchased, that means that she can purchase numbers that are less than or equal to 12. She can purchase exactly 12. Twelve pop so uh, pop sockets. or less than 12. Okay, that's what X, that's what our solution means in this case. Uh, she can purchase no more than 12. Or she will not have enough money. All right, there we go. So as always, I'm a big fan of always just checking our work just to make sure. So here we go. Here's 12 and we know 12 is greater than or equal to X. So X is gonna be on the left side. I'm gonna circle this part and I want all the numbers less than 12 or equal to 12. So let's try this out. Let's say she buys 11. Uh, actually, let's do 10, nice and easy, 10. So let X be 10 and let's see if this is true. So 100 is less than or equal to 40 plus five times 10. 40 plus 50. And let's combine those like terms. 100 is greater than or equal to 90. So we have our solution. So she can buy exactly 10, but could she buy, let's say 20? No, because right there, she would be spending too much money if she bought more than 12. If she bought 20, it would be 40 plus 20 times five is 100, and that would be $140, and that would be too much money. 
All right, hit pause and jot this down into your notes. And now we have a guided practice problem, so you can hit pause and actually try this out with partners or try it out on your own and see if you get the same solution and then just check, um, unpause and see if you get the same answer as me. All right, I'm gonna start breaking down the problem. Two long distance phone companies are in a competition. Company A charges $40 plus 25 cents a minute. Company B charges $60 plus 50 cents a minute. Write an equation that represents when the cost will be the same. Okay, so I need to write an equation when company A will be equal to company B. Easy enough. So let's start with company A. Company A has $40 as a fee plus 25 cents a minute. So let X equal the number of minutes. That's what my let statement is gonna be. All right, and let's look at B. B charges $60 plus 15 cents a minute. X is still the same thing, the number of minutes. So when are both of these parts true? Now our second part is solve the equation and interpret the solution. All right, so let's solve this. I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna to decide to move the 15x, 15 cents x. So now I have 40 plus 10 cents x is equal to 60. Now I have 10 cents x is equal to 20. And now I'm gonna divide these by 10 cents. And X is equal to, what is X to be equal to? I'm gonna, I don't have my calculator open, so I'm gonna hit pause for a second so I can put my calculator up. Perfect, here we go. 20 divided by 10 cents is equal to 200. Okay, so here we go. What does this solution mean? In the context, is since I know it let X be the number of minutes, the companies charge the same amount. when x is equal to 200 minutes. Okay, so I've just interpreted what that actually means in the context of this problem. So when someone has used their phone for 200 minutes, they are both being charged the exact same amount. All right, so let's just look at what we already have here. I've created a let statement. I know that X is equal, let X be equal to something. I've represented both problems, in this case with equations, with the proper coefficients. In this case, my coefficient was the charge per minute. Those were my coefficients, 25 cents per minute, 15 cents per minute. And this problem did require me to solve it and to interpret what the solution was. So I'm going to hit pause for there for now, see if your answer matches mine and get ready to jump into a checkpoint. I hope this was really helpful and get the practice in. Again, we're looking for accuracy, so in over speed. Take your time and actually show out your work and put that effort in. It is better to be careful than to be the fastest. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next lesson. Be well, Math Marbles. Thank you.